Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm so excited to do. It is going to be a new, trying new makeup video. Okay, I used to do these every single Friday on my channel. If you guys want me to bring the series back, definitely let me know. But I felt like I had so many good things come through recently that I knew that I had to sit down and film with them. So I'm gonna be getting this makeup look here and I am using the new Tiny Marvels palette that is with the Mel Thompson Sydney Grace collab. I'm so excited this is going on sale today. So I knew that I had to play with that one. Uh, I also have a few new items items from ColourPop from their Wild Nothing collection. I have a blush and also one of the creme shadows. I have the Glassy Skin Balm from Touch and Soul. Also from ColourPop, their new Pretty Fresh Foundation. A new brush from Sigma Beauty. I have a new bronzer from The Balm and then lip products from both Proper Beauty and the Ofra and Jen Loves Reviews collaboration. So definitely have a lot to get through today. If you want to see how I got this look, some first impressions, but also some reviews. It's kind of a mixture in today's video then why don't we go ahead and get started hello okay to get started I'm gonna work on the eyes mostly because I'm so excited to go into Mel's palette tiny marvels cannot wait but I am going to prime my eyes and I'm gonna use this new product from ColourPop so they just came out with these creme shadows I have the shade Bronco that I am going to use so I'm just gonna use this one as an eye base this came out with their wild nothing collection I just got that package from PR this week and I don't know what happened if it got delayed on their end or delayed like on my shipping and but I got I did get the eyeshadow palette, but I really really wanted to use um, this one from Mel So I have a few things from that collection and I really wanted to try out these um, Creme shadows just to see what I think so I'm just gonna take a Sigma cut crease brush This is an e62 coming into this palette if you have not seen it yet I'm gonna link Mel's videos down below But she is coming out with the tiny Marvel's eyeshadow palette and this is in collaboration with Sydney grace I'm going to insert um, some close-ups of the palette and also some swatches here you do have the nice mirror on it if you guys haven't tried Sydney Grace eyeshadows before they do have really really great quality and they're just a nice brand I think anytime that I have posted anything about Sydney Grace the owner Heather will always come back to message me or comment somewhere and I, I just I'm so excited for Mel she's been She's been someone that I have enjoyed her videos and I learned so much from her videos for such a long time and just watching the different opportunities that she has on YouTube and how she uses her platform. I like I just could not be more excited for her right now and I got this palette early. I opened it up and I saw that it said Mel Thompson by Sydney Grace and I was like wait what have I missed because I hadn't seen anyone talk about it yet I was like what's going on like what and then there was a little slip in there that said you know this hasn't been announced yet if you cannot say anything until Mel announces the collection so I am so weird about this kind of stuff I hid the palette like in a desk drawer because I was like what if I'm on Instagram stories and it's in the background and someone spots it or what if I'm I like think all of these like weird different things and I just you know I, I I don't often get things before they're even announced so I was just like you can't screw this up Samantha do not screw this up and uh, watching her reveal video was just so sweet um, so again this palette is going to be available the day that this video goes live which is Friday August 7th yes at 9 a.m pst on the sydney grace website it is going to retail for 52 dollars again i'm going to link mel's videos because obviously she's going to go into a lot more depth of how she thought of the names and the colors and what everything means to her and how all of her tattoos come into play with this but she just did such an incredible job when i swatched this palette i was like you have got to be kidding me in a good way i love the colors in here you know obviously this corner is screaming at me like I, it's like so loud ah, i like earplugs or something it's just like yelling at me so loud but i like even these little pops of color are so cool with the purple and the green we know that i'm starting to become more of a green fan these days i don't know what that's about this shade is just straight fire i mean oh my gosh it's so beautiful i think that they did such an amazing job this feels such uh, it just feels like such a quality palette, but let's get it on the eyes so we can make sure, even though I've seen some tutorials going up, so I am feeling pretty confident. Okay, I have everything on my lap. I need to like take a second and think about things. I was so sad. I found a desk over the weekend. I've been wanting like an actual filming desk because I sit on a bar stool while I film. 
and I thought it was so beautiful and I was like that's the one like this is it and then I looked at the price tag and saw it was a thousand dollars and was like shoot I should probably look at the price tags first where should I even start let's start with love bug Let's just start with Love Bug, okay? I'm gonna be using some brushes from BK Beauty. Um, this is the brand from Lisa J Makeup. Oh my gosh, I just feel like <sighs> there's just like so many females rocking it right now. I'm so excited, and I know them. Like, how? What? Ha, I just ah, that's incredible. This is the 202 brush. It's gonna come on, and I'm going to start to sweep that into my crease. I hope being zoomed in, you can't see that I have. Does it make sense when I say a headache in my eyes, but my left eye keeps twitching? So if you can see that on camera and it like weirds you out, I'm so sorry, but like I can't, I don't know what to do about it. I had an ice, not an ice pack, um, a, just like a cold washcloth, ice pack, a cold washcloth on my eyes earlier. I was like, please stop twitching, please stop twitching, but like it's, it's, it's not happening, but the show must go on. The show must go on. We have makeup to play with. Shade is gorgeous this is gonna be one of those that like every time I come into this palette I'm gonna want to go into love bug for sure and it's blending so smoothly I didn't a lot of times I'll put you know a concealer or an eyeshadow primer down but then I will set it with a powder but this is going on so smoothly without even doing that um, that's impressive. I'm gonna use that same brush and come into Bugaboo. So again, that 202. And I'm gonna put this a little bit lower and kind of hit it right on that outer part of my eye. Just deepen things up out here. Okay, this blend, I'm not like the world's best blender, probably because I'm the world's, um, I'm not the world's most patient person in the world, but it's just they're blending so easily. And they're both just beautiful shades. I keep going with my little quad, and I'm gonna come into Meadowhawk. And let's see, I'm going to use this brush. This is the 203 from BK Beauty. And I am going to use a dry, I like to try out new palettes with dry brushes first just to see, just to see how things go. So I am going to pat this on the inner part of my eye. Oh, that's, ooh, that's a really cool shade. Oh yeah. So I'm just kind of patting it and then once I get to where I have the other colors blend it, just really making sure to pat versus like swipe. I think the payoff is looking really good right now, but I do want to spray my brush. If you're someone who typically likes to work with shadows with a damp brush, um, we can see what it's going to look like. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap. Ooh, okay. So that, I mean, again, I don't think that you have to use a damp brush. Some palettes with the shimmers like you just you have to otherwise like nothing's happening on the eye but that just intensified it a little bit more that is a cool shade i'm gonna mix just a little bit of love bug yeah love bug and bugaboo one more time on that first brush and then just kind of sweep it through that was so fast to do i like doing quicker makeup looks a lot of times i don't have the most amount of time and i'm filming this at four o'clock on thursday and it needs to go up by nine o'clock in the morning tomorrow friday so i'm like a little bit stressed but it just was so fast to work with the shades like i felt like there was a few times where i was just sitting here and i was still blending because i was speaking something to the camera but i really didn't need to keep blending um so i'm going to come back to the eyes i'm going to work a little bit more on my face now and then we'll come back to finish off the eyes and use a few more shades in here, but wowzers. First impression, um, yeah, that's that's real nice. That's real nice. Okay, moving over to the face, I got this product in from Touch and Soul. This is their Glassy Skin Balm. 
and I'm really curious to try it because I've had a couple of you ask me if I've used this and the answer was no so I got this one sent over it's an ultra hydrating priming skin balm with a sensationally smooth texture that melts into your skin and creates the ultimate glow that lasts throughout the day so I want to put this on and let it really like hang out for a while I probably should have put it on even before I did my eyes but I wasn't thinking um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add this on and then chill for a second before we come in with the new foundation from ColourPop so when you open it looks like so i don't really know what to expect from it but i'm just gonna do a little of that and then blend this out let it sink in for a few moments and then move on to foundation okay that balm feels pretty nice i feel like it definitely gave me a glow all over so we'll see because i'm going to use it with a foundation that i have been using for a while and i really like it's a newer foundation but once i started trying it i was like Yes, hello. I really like you. So I want to see how it pairs and if it maybe like the only thing I feel like worried about is that is it going to cause my foundation to break up? I don't know. We will see. I do like to leave a pinned comment in my trying new makeup videos and I just kind of update along the way with things that are maybe first impressions that I can't share an updated thought of like wear time in the in the video even though the wear time is really not going to be the greatest since i'm filming this so late but that's okay let's just move on with the foundation this is from ColourPop. this is their pretty fresh hyaluronic hydrating foundation okay so this foundation is a newer one from ColourPop. it says get natural healthy looking skin with the skin perfecting medium buildable coverage foundation and this retails for 16 dollars. i have the shade medium 83c Shout out to my friend Amanda or Makeup Just For Fun. She sent me over a few shades of the foundation and I was so happy about that. I was going to purchase it and then I was talking to her and she said she had some extra shades and she sent me one and I was like, thank you. Uh, and I am going to be using a new brush from Sigma. This is the F47 Multitasker Brush. This retails for $25. Right now it is on sale for $15. I don't know if it'll still be on sale tomorrow when this goes live, but that's a great price for a Sigma brush. And this one says you can use it to quickly apply foundation, blush, or contour. The unique feature is the wide angled brush head. Um, and it's recommended to use for, to blend liquid foundation, contour the cheekbones, or, pu or buff powder products. So a lot of different things that you can do with this brush. So I want to try it with foundation. I do typically shake up my color pop and I'm just going to do a few pumps on here. Okay, so like I said, I have been wearing this one quite a bit, and I am such a fan. I did a um, a comparison between this one and the new Ilia Beauty Skin Tint that I purchased recently from Sephora. I did a battle of the summer foundations on my TikTok, which is Samantha March XO. Speaking of TikTok, Instagram has come out with their like rival to it, which is called Instagram Reels. Has anyone noticed the reels happening? Have you watched them? If you have any ideas of what you would like to see on the reels, do let me know. I know that not everyone is a fan of TikTok and I get it. If you're not, don't don't download it. Don't get it if you really don't want to because um, that would just be silly. But I don't know. I just feel like for me, I see so much conflicting um, information out there and it's hard. You try to, you know, wade through everything that's going on and just do your own thinking for yourself and come to your own conclusions and all of that but i was kind of surprised i was like what has taken someone so long to kind of come out with their own version of tiktok so um so now we have instagram reels so would love to get your feedback there but like i was saying i did a battle of these two foundations on my tiktok because the Ilia Skin Tint is more light coverage. And this one to me, I mean, I, I would say it's medium, but it's like, I wanna say like medium light, <laughs> if that makes any sense. But it's really lightweight. It's really comfortable, so easy to blend out. This one was actually the winner. And this is $16 versus the Ilia Skin Tint, which is 46. I'm still liking the Ilia Skin Tint, but I mean, if I was battling it out with this new one from ColourPop, I'm actually really impressed and I haven't always been a huge ColourPop complexion fan in the past just some of their foundations and even some of the concealers I'm like I don't know like this is kind of like just okay for me but this one I'm like yeah it lasts so long um, it, it wears really well it's been really hot in Iowa 
well, the last couple of days have been a little bit chillier, but before then it was really, really hot in Iowa, a ton of humidity. I feel like it lasted so well. Um, I, I do love more of a natural finish, a foundation. That's kind of like my thing. And I just feel like it looks skin-like. Oh, I think it's really beautiful. Have you guys tried this one yet from ColourPop? I'm a really big fan, so I wanted to show you how it applied. Super fast to do. I think it's really easy to blend out. And this F47, I, I felt like it was really fast. Like, again, I kind of want to keep like touching my face because I'm still speaking, but it's like, that's done. We can, we can just move on to the next thing. So, but yeah, I definitely wanted to show you how it applied and give you my thoughts on this foundation. I've worn it multiple times now, and I would definitely recommend this one from ColourPop. Uh, I don't have a new concealer or powder um, or brow, so I'm going to go ahead and do those off camera and then we'll come back with a new bronzer. Moving over to my bronzer, I'm going to use this new one from The Balm. This is the Bronzilla Bronzer. This is available now for $17 and I'm going to use another brush from BK Beauty. This is the 103. Okay, so it was so funny because I did a little Instagram tutorial and I used this and the... I think it's called Will Powder um, little face palette that the balm came out with also. I got them at the same time. And according to the release that I got, it said that they would have already have been for sale by the time I was gonna plan to post my Instagram video with them. So I posted, I'm like, yay, like, cause I really like both of these products. And people are like, what? what, like, when is that going on sale? It's not on sale yet. And I had no idea and I felt so terrible, but they are on sale now. I've double checked the website and I think this bronzer is beautiful. You might know that the Balm Oliver bronzer is a favorite of mine. This one though is like, okay, so I would say for, oh duh, I should have used that contour today. Why didn't I? Cause I was gonna say, I used the Balm um, Oliver as a contour shade cause it's a little bit more cool toned. Whereas this one is actually a little bit more warm. So this is more like bronzer to me, on, on me than um than oliver is but i think that this is beautiful it's very natural at the same time it blends so well i do build it up a, a little bit but i'm really liking it i'm gonna do a little bit on my forehead also this bronzer reminds me of the charlotte tilbury where it just looks so like smooth and flawless and it's so easy to apply so i am a really big fan of that it's coming in this new packaging which is all about clean beauty green packaging so it doesn't have a mirror in this one but it does have a whole thing on here of um like recycling this which i think is fantastic also it does say that it's supposed to be able to be used as a bronzer a contour and a shadow the only downfall is that this is the only one there is no other shades it does say that it's supposed to be good for all skin tones um, because it's supposed to be so versatile but I just don't really know if that's um, a thing I don't know so I think it would be cool to see uh, a, a few a handful of more shades of this bronzilla especially because I'm such a big fan they did come out with multiple shades in the um, it's called the take home the bronze bronzer there was multiple shades in that one so I hope to see that with the bronzilla also but so far, I am a fan of this one. From ColourPop, I'm gonna use one of the new blushes that, that was in that um, wild thing. I can feel my eye twitching. I can feel it. <laughs> From ColourPop, I'm gonna use a blush that came out in their uh, Wild Nothing collection. I keep wanting to say wild things, so I might have done that earlier. And it's not my fault. Wild Nothing. Okay, so I do love the packaging on this uh, whole collection. Thought that was so cute. The blush that I picked out is in Crossroads. I am a fan of the ColourPop uh, pressed blushes. I'm going to use this brush from BK Beauty, the 107. It does have a mirror in here, but I haven't even taken off the plastic because I, again, I just got this collection. But I looked through the blushes and I thought that this shade would be pretty. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap this on I'm loving this color it's almost like I want to say like a neutral peach I think it's really pretty but it does have some shimmer to it you probably know but I do like a good shimmer blush I can't stop staring at my eye look though like those shades are so pretty each time I've brought up the mirror I'm like yeah looking good nowhere to go tonight just gonna watch the cubs Eat some leftover pizza. Yeah, yeah. I have a new highlight, but let's just go ahead and use Mary Lou from the Balm, my OG. 
I'm using another brush from BK Beauty. This is the 108. Before I finish off the eyes, I'm just going to spray my face. I have these new ones from Milani. This one is the Fruit Fetish Make It Last. I have the Mango Coconut Scented Setting Spray. So I'm just going to spray this. I like the spray on this. Like, it's very, it's very smooth. It kind of comes at you a little hard, but nothing like too scary. Um, I just, I don't know if I love the, the scent. I don't, I mean, I like the mango coconut scent, but I don't know if I love it for my face. Over to finish my eyes, I'm first just going to add my liner. This is from Pure, and this is in Rain, which is a purple liner. And then to finish off my Laura Lash Line, I'm going to mix a little bit of a Love Bug with Spider, which is that deep shade in this little quad that I have been working with. And this is a little bit of a larger brush. It's the BK Beauty 206. But I do like a good smudgy, smoked out lower lash line. And for my inner corner, I'm going to add a little bit of web using the BK Beauty 204. I am loving this eye look. Oh my goodness. And then to finish it off with my mascara, this is the new one from Pat McGrath. A lot of you told me that you wanted to see this one. So I did request it from my Actually store. Um, so I did get this sent over in exchange for my review. Not from Pat herself. I'll have to bring that up at next girl's night. But uh, this is the Dark Star Mascara. This mascara is $30. That's no joke. A gravity-defying mascara that delivers instant volume, multi-dimensional length, and a weight and weightless lift in a single stroke. I will say this feels heavy. You know, got to get those bicep curls in while you do your makeup. So I do, I, I like that. I like that. Wand looks like it has just like the slightest bit of an hourglass shape to it. Like it just comes in a little bit in the middle and then gets a little bit fuller. So let's try it out. Shoot. That looks really good. Wow. Okay. So I just have one, this is just one coat on this eye. Nothing over here yet, except for my bottom lashes. It instantly lengthened them and gave them a really beautiful curl. Ooh, I like that. Oh, okay. I'm going to do a second coat. Normally I do two coats with mascara, but wow. Okay, Pat. Here's two coats. I was trying to see if I could make my lashes a little bit darker because um, I, I don't have very dark lashes and I think it can emphasize them a little bit more. And wow. I'm going to be really curious again. You can, check my pin, you can check my pinned comment and I will let you know if I had a lot of transfer or smudging throughout the rest of the day. But it makes my lashes look so nice. So I have two coats on each eye now with that new Pat McGrath mascara. That seems real nice. Definitely going to be curious how it wears throughout the day. But it gave my lashes like a lift. Isn't that what it said in the marketing? Hold on. Yep. Yes. A weightless lift. <gasps> I would agree. I was saying that. Like that's just what came to my mind. My lashes look lifted and curled, but also it separated them nicely and defined each lash without being like overly clumpy. But first impression, ooh, okay. I'm liking that one so far. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Lastly, I just have my lipsticks. I purchased two from Propa Beauty. I did purchase them a while ago. They were having, um, it was a pre-order. I knew that. And then they had another shipping delay. But I finally got them in. So I ordered two different shades. Victress and also Driven. So these are $12. And this is what the packaging looks like. Okay, so this first shade here, I will swatch it. This one is in Victress. Sometimes I don't always love more of satin lipsticks because I, I like either a matte or a um, glossy finish, but you know, wanted to give them a try. I think the lipstick tip looks really interesting, how it's like really flat and then it comes up to that tip. Okay, so then this next shade that I'm swatching is in Driven, and this one is a little bit more of that darker mauve. So I don't know if either color is going to go fantastic with this eye look but I'm thinking of doing driven and then maybe using a lipstick from Jen Loves Reviews collab to mix it. I was thinking uh, revive the lightest shade. This might make for a good pairing. 
okay this shade is really deep on me but how fun i mean for fall hello uh, i really like how it has the don't say fall why would i just do that <gasps> really like the tip on it because I didn't use a lip liner first so I was really using that to line out my lips before I filled them in with this shade it feels nice and comfortable this is the first time that I am wearing it it does have more of that satiny finish to it I think that it feels nice but since it is a little bit deeper than I would normally wear I mean honestly I really don't think that it looks like I, I think that it does match the eye look better than I was expecting it to but I am gonna do just a little bit of revive if you guys haven't seen Jen Loves Reviews has done a collaboration with Ofra I mentioned these in a past will I buy it video I have an Instagram video um, combining a bunch of these shades too because these are more transforming lipsticks so you can use the you can wear them on their own but like with the light shade it's supposed to help if you have something that's a little bit too deep there's a darker shade if you want to um, darken up a lipstick and then there's a middle shade too which is really pretty by itself um, but it's just kind of it really can transform a lot of the different shades that i've worn it with so this is such a cool set it's available now on the ofra cosmetics website i'm so excited for jen she was on my podcast yesterday my podcast has come back for season three it's called start inspired you can find it pretty much anywhere where podcasts are itunes spotify google podcast apple apple podcast stitcher all of those places and i had jen on and it was such a fun conversation so i'll also link that in just in the description box but i'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of this and I'm just going to use my finger to blend that in. This is a really fun shade that it made because it just, it took it a little bit lighter. I could probably add more and go even lighter, but I kind of liked the darker tone <laughs> when I put it on. And it just made it a little bit more on the mauve side, which I really like too. So that's the mixture of Driven and Revive from Propa Beauty and then Ofra X Gen Loves Reviews. And after that... This is my final look. What do you guys think? So this is my final look for today's trying new makeup video. Definitely let me know what you thought. I really love how this one came out though. I just feel so like, mm, mm, and I am digging that. Okay, so to run through quickly everything that I tried, the Sydney Grace palette with Mel Thompson is fantastic. This is my first look with it, but I can't wait to do so many more. And a huge congratulations to Mel. The palette is going to be available today. I'm so excited. You guys will have to let me know if you're going to pick that one up. And stay tuned because you're going to be seeing a lot more looks with it. The uh, primer balm that I tried from Touch and Soul. You know, I'm definitely curious to try it out some more. I felt like it did make me pretty glossy. And I want to see how the foundation wears throughout the day. So I'm very curious to keep trying that one. ColourPop foundation, highly would recommend. Same with the bronzer from the balm. The ColourPop blush, I do like those blushes. And I feel like that shade is really pretty. I think I'm going to get on with that one the mascara from pat mcgrath actually took me a little bit by surprise with how much i enjoyed it but that one does look beautiful and i think that i'm going to like the propa beauty lipsticks and uh, of course the generalist reviews i think that that's a great lip set also so that is it for today's video let me know what you thought in the comments of course and as always if you guys did enjoy this one make sure to give it a thumbs up i hope you also consider subscribing before you go and i will see you in my next video